everyone and welcome back to Coco's World. Today I'm going to be showing you 10 things that you can do when you're bored at home in the summer holidays or anytime. Don't forget to like the video and hit subscribe. Let's go! Number one is to spring clean your bedroom. I love having a big clear out of all my stuff. It's so satisfying. You can get out all your things like your books, toys, clothes, everything really and try and get rid of some of it. I am like the most savage person ever when it comes to getting rid of stuff. And then when you're done, give your room a nice tidy up and clean and hoover. It feels so nice to have a clean, tidy bedroom. Oh and guys, how cute is my cat Nelly? I got a bit distracted because she's so adorable. Number two is to do chores and jobs around the house. If you've got nothing to do, see if you can help someone in your family out. I always clean my sister's car because she is so lazy and I also sometimes water the plants and do some ironing for my mum. If you're lucky you might even get paid for it. Thank you very much. Number three is to have a girly pamper day. I like to light a special candle, put on some music and paint my nails. There's me getting distracted. Again. I'm actually really bad at painting my nails, but practice makes perfect, right? And whilst you're waiting for them to dry, why not use a relaxing face mask? Ah, oh, this is the life. And they're good fun for selfies too. Number four is to turn your room into a dance studio. I'm actually using my sister's room because it's much bigger, but I like to practice some stretches like my splits, back bends, and that sort of thing. I also like to practice some tricks, and sometimes I like to search up a tutorial. They're really helpful. And just keep going until you get it. Or if you don't like acro and gymnastics, why not learn a new dance routine? I do this all the time when I'm bored and it's so fun. Although sometimes I get a bit carried away. Number five is to get creative. I love answer crafts and making stuff at time, but something super easy you can make is slime. All you need is PVA glue, Elms activator and food colouring. It's so fun and satisfying. You can make so many different types. I'm obsessed with slime and I make it like every day. Number six is to exercise your mind. I watch a lot of Netflix and play a lot of Fortnite in my spare time, so it's good to do some things to keep my brain working. I like doing Sudoku's and of course reading. I have so many books. I love David Williams, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Jacqueline Wilson, and a book I'd really recommend is Girl Missing and all its sequels. But today I'm reading one of my favorites, The Dork Diaries. Number seven is of course to do some baking. I could literally bake all day, it's so much fun. And yummy of course. Today I'm making super easy marshmallow sandwiches. All you have to do is follow a recipe for shortbread and add in some chocolate chips. I've made mine into heart shapes. Then where they are baked, I just melt some marshmallows in the microwave and spread them onto a biscuit and put another on top. They are the easiest, most delicious things ever. Number eight is to have a Netflix marathon. Is there anything better than to binge watch a series in bed? Right now I'm watching Goosebumps, which is one of my favorites. I'd also recommend Once Upon a Time, Alexa and Katie and Project MC Squared. OMG, Goosebumps is scary. Number nine is to do a DIY science experiment. I have a really easy one using all of the things that you can probably already find in your home. And it's a DIY lava lamp. Just fill an empty bottle with oil with some water at the top. The water is heavier than the oil, so it sinks to the bottom. Then pop in some food coloring of your choice and drop in an Alka-Seltzer tablet or a Barocca. The water will start to fizz up and send bubbles up into the oil. It's so cool. And finally, number 10 is to film a YouTube video. What better time to start a YouTube channel than the summer holidays? You can talk about whatever you want. Just make sure not to give out any personal information. You don't even need a good camera. You can just do it on your phone. Make sure you guys comment your channels down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I gave you some ideas. See you next time. Bye.